Welcome back, and in this video we're going to show you how to upload a data feed file from ShareASale into your data feed store. A very simple program. First thing you're going to want to do is if you haven't joined ShareASale, go ahead and join them. And then point your browser to their merchants section where you can select which of the thousands of merchants that you want to add to your store through data feeds. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to just go to the Browse by Category button. Uh, find the category that best matches your website so that you'll have products that that fit the store that make sense and then click on that category and select the merchants that you're interested in uh, selling for uh, just click the join program buttons on the ones that you like uh, some of them will approve you instantly some of them will take a little while once you're approved you can have two ways to access the data feeds one is through an FTP service uh, which you can uh, go ahead and set up here or I'm going to show you a real quick way to just grab the files using your browser uh, just click on the merchant go to where it says data feed products uh, click the part where it, it you can access the data feed and then right on the right hand side it says download CSV that's your data feed so go ahead and, and grab it and save it to your desktop or to a folder and you now have have the data feed it's a pretty simple program log into your admin panel because we're going to now put that data feed into your store now you can access the share of sale uploads through the uploads tab or right here on the front home page right where you see this click and you can click share a sale you can upload using your browser or you can upload using FTP obviously larger files you're going to want to upload through FTP if it's under say 10,000 items uh, you want to go ahead and use the browser so just go to your store go to shop forward slash admin forward slash share a sale and upload the folder and then go to the admin settings and make absolutely sure that you've put your share a sale uh, affiliate number in the admin section it won't process the feeds if you haven't so we're going to go ahead and upload this one through the browser click uh, find a file and we're gonna click on the file see it's right there then click submit and that's it it's already added to your store you can go back to your store and check this one was a a quake supply you know a, I guess an earthquake supply place I don't know how I wound up with that one but that's a good uh, I'm sure that's a good product selection there uh, it'll automatically add the products to your store and it will create a, a series of suggested products towards the bottom of the product page and then you have a cloaked link there that won't interfere with your search engine listings that goes directly to them to the merchant so when a consumer sees that uh, that ad he'll go click on that link go to the affiliates store or the merchant store and boom you've got a sale you can also upload through FTP just click on the uh, FTP thing and it'll give you a list of all the files that are awaiting processing from share a sale that you've uploaded just scroll down and it'll give you a list of them and go ahead and click the blue to install or the red to discard and we're just gonna upload one here real quick see it's already in your store and then we'll do a search and we we uploaded some gluten-free products there's just about everything on share sale that you can think of so you gotta pick products that fit your store and of course again it creates a product page that links directly to the merchant this one put the uh, product information like the uh, ingredients and such and it's just that easy you can add literally thousands of products from share sales CJ link share uh, Google affiliate network just about all of them uh, with the press of a button uh, we're gonna go ahead and make one of these items a featured item we copied the title submit it and then when you go back to your home page boom there it is in the next video we're gonna show you how to set up a Google uh, feed